Brush Designers. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this particle flow field look, but with no actual particles, and it's all done in feedback with very few operators. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. So let's get started. First, this is our empty project. If you have the jelly beans, just hit Control A and Delete to delete them all. We're gonna add a base, and in that base, well, we're going to name this flow field just for fun. And in that base, we're going to right click and hit customize parent component. And we're going to add the resolution that we so desire the proper way. So add a page, add a resolution, and make sure this is XY here. And then in our range min, or sorry, in our default, I'm going to do 1280 by 1280 and then I'm going to clamp the max just for posterity's sake this will just ensure in case like you misclick for example and do that it'll make it a more reasonable resolution and may hopefully not crash your system um, so to get to those parameters you can click here um, and then we're gonna just create a noise tab noise classic start to a touch designer visual and we're gonna copy these parameters and paste the bind here and that's it that's all we need to do with that but we have this component now and you can save this so that's good uh in our noise let's make it 32-bit float just going to adjust it ever so slightly. We'll change it later as well. I'll show you some of the options that we can play with. Um, and that's good for now. Let's add a null by hitting Alt N. So Alt N when once highlighted. And we'll call this end and just display that. It'll probably pop up in here for you, the background tops, but I hate, I well, I dislike the background top. So I turn that off and then split our panel and then hit top viewer. Um, and so now we have a little viewer of our project. I'll just drag that out. Um, and we got some noise. I don't know why it keeps zooming out like that, but we're going to add a null and call this feedback start. And I'm going to middle click here to create a new chain, a new line. And we're going to do feedback and then right click. And then something I like to do, which I'll show you guys, it's pretty satisfying, is you can hold shift and add operators in a line. So I'm going to add all the ones that we that I know I need for this feedback loop. Uh, so it starts with a limit and then a blur, another blur, into a subtract, into a math. Up, up, and then into a displace, and then another no. No. Oh, that was interesting. I did not expect that. And then into a null, we can just alt end here, and we'll drag this back here, and then nothing's happening because our reactant diffusion system isn't set up properly. I'm going to control X to get this blur, control X, control V to get this blur into another line and then pipe it into the sub. And then this will go up to like 7.5 or so. Uh, we need to limit this here and I'm going to add a keyboard in chop to reset the feedback. There we go, we got our reaction diffusion. Uh, I guess I did clamp this automatically at some point. Make sure this is clamped to one and negative one. Um, otherwise it'll go crazy and you'll just end up with black. Um, now we need to take a slope from this feedback start. So middle click, slope, and I'm gonna make 0, 0.0 and source midpoint also zero. And then once we pipe this in, you'll see we have this displacement effect, um, which is pretty classic. 
and it's pretty cool in its own right. Uh, but we want the particles today. So I think I'm going to just do this mirror, actually. It's probably the most, most organic option. So in our math, we're going to go to op and do positive, not root, positive. And now we got these dots that die. Also, I'll just add an RGB key to make a black background. Um, the dots die because these blurs have to be not both of the same value. This should be eight. So if I hit one again, now we got our our flow. Our flow is back, and this is essentially the effect because we have our dots, and they're in the flow field pattern that this is creating. Um, you can kind of tell here. Maybe if I switch the period, you can see what's going on. Um, and if I increase the amplitude, I feel like we'll get a few more based on the gray values. Yeah. Um, and that's it-ish. We just have to add our trails. And so you see we have all these like diffusion-y edges to that. To get rid of that, we're going to add a limit right after, quantize, take a floor, and then make it all the way to one. So now we have these dots that don't have the edges, but they're a little pixely. So we're going to add another blur here to make them less jaggedy. Uh, cool. And then a level. Bring the brightness back up a little bit, and then make some space for us. And we're going to create a feedback. So middle click, feedback, level, uh, like 995, composite. We can create a null here just to make our organized. Feedback trails can be a name. And our comp, bring this in here. Change this to maximum. Pipe this into our main out. And there we go. Now we have our trails. Um, you can see there's kind of like that is an ideal. Um, so we can blur to fix it a bit. That's way too much blur for me. Even at two, it's too much blur. So we can add a cross here to scale it back even more. Um, and now there's just like 0.1 of this blur being fed back in. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it for the effect. Um, oh, repeat actually helped better to make that block. Cool. One thing I like to do for sure is animate this a bit. Well, first I'm gonna switch to Perlin. 4D because I like that better. And then abs time dot seconds times point zero five. And now we have an evolving flow field. Um I'm gonna add a lookup, change the color. Just a simple ramp. Change this to 32 bit float. I'm gonna make that kind of yeah. I like making kind of the tips just brighter. Anyway, you can do that. Um, and then this noise, you can do all sorts of things to change it a lot. Um, period, amplitude will be speed. Um, the slope also will affect your speed. So you could tie like a kick and a snare and make it audio reactive that way. Boop, 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 boop. Um, you can also make it kind of vortexy by adding a transform here and bringing in our scale. Um, you might notice that it's gonna break. So this breaks because our feedback is scaling it in too much 
and then we just lose all the points we have here. So to fix that, we can just add a noise. And then now it's adding all these points kind of as as we're feedback feedbacking. <laughs> um, so just take a very small amplitude and it'll fix it. And now we have that, which I like. Um, I don't know if the repeat will do anything, but we can try. And there's some other st fun stuff you can do with this. I built like um, a tractor system actually for it. If you're interested in that, I can show you. But that's it for the, my first tutorial. Um, let me know what your thoughts are and have a wonderful day. Be creative. Later.